Did you apply for a mail-in or absentee ballot? It's important to do everything right so your vote is counted. We'll show you how. Watch your mailbox for your ballot packet. It looks like this. Printed on the front are the words Official Election Mail. Ballots are just beginning to go out, so be patient. The division is mailing them out in batches, and there are more than 300,000 of them so far. Here's what it looks like. Inside should be four items. A ballot, an instruction sheet, and two envelopes. One has the words Official Election Ballot printed on it, while the other is a pre-addressed postage paid envelope. If you are missing any piece, please contact the Elections Division by phone at 412-350-4500 or by email at electionscontact at alleghenycounty.us. Step 1. Complete your ballot. Using a blue or black ballpoint pen, completely fill in the oval to the left side of the candidate for whom you'd like to vote. Do not make marks outside of the oval. You don't have to vote in every race. If you've made a mistake, don't cross out or erase what you've done or your vote may not count. Request a new ballot instead by calling 412-350-4500 or emailing electionscontact at alleghenycounty.us. For write-in candidates, you must fill in the oval next to the write-in slot on the ballot and write in the name of the person for whom you want to vote. If you do not do both things, the vote will not count. Step 2. Once you reviewed your ballot and are satisfied with your vote, fold the ballot in half and then in half again. Insert the folded ballot into the envelope that has only the words Official Election Ballot printed on it. This is also known as the Secrecy Envelope. Seal the envelope. Please note that only one ballot can be placed in the Secrecy Envelope. Voters cannot share an envelope. Ballots must be returned in separate Secrecy Envelopes and in separate Declaration Envelopes. This is very important. If your ballot is not placed in this envelope and sealed, your vote will not count. Do not write on the envelope. Do not sign on the envelope. Do not put a return address on the envelope or do anything else to this envelope or your vote may not count. Step 3. Once you've put your ballot in the envelope and sealed it, place the sealed envelope in the larger pre-addressed postage paid envelope and seal that envelope. This envelope is known as the declaration envelope. Step 4. Turn the declaration envelope over. The voter is required to sign, date, and provide their address on the back of the envelope. This step is the voter's affirmation that he or she is qualified to vote, hasn't already voted, and that the ballot was marked in secret. It also acknowledges that the voter may not vote in person at their polling place unless their ballot is not received by the county. The first box is for your signature. The next line is for the date on which you are signing the declaration, not your date of birth. The next line is for your printed name, followed by lines for your street address, and then your city and zip code. If the voter requires assistance due to illness or physical disability to vote, the voter and the person who assisted them must complete the section of the declaration on the bottom half of the envelope. The voter will place their signature, or mark, and then the person who assisted will complete the lines with the date their address, and their signature. There may also be a barcode on the ballot, but it is not a requirement for each declaration envelope. Once you've completed the declaration envelope, there's one more reminder printed on the flap asking if you've signed the declaration and if your ballot is inside the secrecy envelope and inside the declaration envelope. Step 5. That's it. You can put your voted ballot in the mail. Postage is prepaid, so no stamp is required or you can return your voted ballot to the Elections Division in the County Office Building downtown, or at any of the additional Elections offices open during the month of October. Mailed ballots are being returned directly to the Elections Warehouse, where the receipt will be recorded. Returned ballots will be recorded as received and then placed in the locked ballot box until transported to the Elections Warehouse. The unopened ballot envelope will be secured in a locked room, under camera, until Election Day, when ballots can begin to be opened and counted.